the end of our previous video, you hopefully in that space there put in some more methods to test all of these variables for which you created get and set methods or getter and setter methods. I've included here some of the get and set methods that I made in between our videos. So get toys and set toys, get for color and set for color, and get psychic, set psychic. You might have called yours get is psychic, set is psychic. It's okay. Now, when we set the weight of the dog at 24.6, that was in pounds. You'll notice that I have that in the Java doc that the weight is in pounds for get weight. Didn't really put it there for set weight, but it is in pounds. And I made a documentation note where we declared that field that the weight is in pounds. Well, what if we want to have the weight in kilograms? Should we make another instance variable or field for the kilograms? If we did, we'd have to always update both the weight in pounds and the weight in kilograms. Anytime the weight changed for one, we'd have to make sure we change the weight for the other. So we would declare a variable here. You might not want to put this in because I'm not going to keep it weight in kilograms, and then both variables would have to be updated. If one was updated, we'd have to update the other one. We'd have to make two more methods for getting and setting the kilogram weight. And again, when one is changed, we'd have to change the other one to keep them both accurate. The problem is if you don't change one when the other changes, you'll have what we call stale data. It's not the most current data. So the solution is not to declare another variable. If you can generate the data you need from data and variables that you already have, make new methods, not new variables. If we know the weight in pounds, we can generate the weight in kilograms. We'll just create a new method instead of a new variable. So public and it will be a double, and I'll call it get kilograms. And the job of this method will be to return the weight of the dog in kilograms. And we can do that just by knowing the weight of the dog in pounds. We'll simply take the weight of the dog in pounds times a conversion number, the proper conversion is, you see there, times 0.453592, and this will return the weight in kilograms of the dog, and it will always be current with the weight of the dog in pounds, because what we return is totally based on the weight of the dog in pounds. So we were able to avoid the issue of stale data. We can have our weight in kilograms using a method. We don't have to worry about updating extra variables that we really don't need. We just need a method to return the kilograms. And it's always current. As long as the weight is current in pounds, then the weight in kilograms will be just as current. Because we're not using a variable to store it, we're using a method to report it. Again, if you can generate data you need from variables and data you already have, make new methods, not new variables. So we'll test out the get kilograms right here. And there it is. We have the weight in pounds and the weight in kilograms. Both totally up to date. Averages are another kind of thing that you usually don't need a variable for them. If you know the total number of tests, for example, and the total number of points you scored on those tests, you can just divide the points on the test divided by the number of tests and get the average. You don't need a variable for that, just a method. A method every object automatically gets, courtesy of Java, is a two-string method. We hope to use that to find the current state of the object. Let's see what happens with the default two-string method that our dog object has. We'll display it. And it's kind of uh, dealing with a memory location. It's not very useful. It's not really telling us much. So the two-string method that we get by default, not usually very handy. So for every good class that we write, we should have a good two-string method that we write that will override the default two-string method. And it's overriding it because it's going to take the place of the default. As soon as we write a two-string method, that will override the default two-string method.
and we're going to make one that's a lot more useful that will give us the current state of our dog object. And again, every good class should have a two-string method when you write it that will override Java's free two-string method that, quite frankly, is not very informative. We'll make ours very informative. Um, we're not going to make a paragraph. You could make a paragraph out of this, a nice sentence structure and everything. I'm just going to list every characteristic of the dog and what the current state of that characteristic is. So I'll say breed with a colon plus, all right, I'm going to display the variable breed. It's a private variable. This dog class can access it because it's private to this class. So any method in this dog class has access to the variables of this class. I'll get a new line character to display the weight of the dog. This weight is in pounds. Maybe I should have said that when I wrote that and just simply put weight. Next on a new line, notice again with a new line character, the number of toys. For us, that's to instance variable num toys. On a new line, I'll display the fur color of the dog. I think you're seeing how this is working out. I forgot to put a colon in at first. I think I go back and catch it later. I have a fifth characteristic, is psychic. And you have an additional characteristic that you probably made at the end of the last video. So go ahead and include that in your two-string method. This will be a lot more informative, and it will give us the current state of the dog. We'll know its breed, weight, number of toys, fur color, and whether or not it's psychic and can read minds. Now look at that. The breed, Labradoodle. The weight, 24.6. The number of toys is zero. We haven't done anything with the number of toys. That's an integer variable. By default, it goes to zero. The fur color is null. The fur color, as you may recall, is a string object. And if we don't assign it a value, it will have the value null. Is psychic, is Boolean? Boolean, by default, is false. We don't want to assign values in general where we declare those variables up there. We're going to get to that in another video, the appropriate way and time to assign values to those in the class. Right now, we're just using set methods outside the class in the main method to take care of that. So again, the purpose of this two-string method is to recur return the current state of the object. For us, the current state of the dog. We can see what the dog is up to, what characteristics it currently has. I'm going to go where you see the variable breed and change it to the method get breed. We usually tend to use the actual variables, but it is okay to use a method as well because this class has access to all the methods inside of itself. It doesn't look any different here. The breed is Labradoodle. The get breed method returns breed. That's the same as using the variable breed. So either way will work. We tend to usually use the actual variables or fields. You may see sometimes later on in this course where you'll need to use a method. Uh, but for the two string, either way works. You could use the actual variables or the methods. Again, I tend to use the actual variables themselves. And remember, you don't have direct access to those variables here in the dog application. Let's try dog1 dot one of our variables. Dog1 dot wait. Eclipse lets us know that get weight and set weight are available. They're public, but we cannot directly access the field weight in the dog class. It is not visible. Notice that uh, some of the changes include a getter method. So get method, we've already written get weight. So to sum up what we've seen, we need get and set methods to access the variables that are private in our dog class or getter setter methods. We do not have direct access to those variables in our dog application. Every object has a free two string method offered by Java, but it's really not that useful. We should override it ourselves and write a better two string method. And we don't need to make new variables that might potentially have stale data. If we can generate data we need from variables we already have, make new methods not new variables.